Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you GoCharlie's recent AI image generator uh, latest features. So for those who are first time to my channel, my name is William. I review a lot of AI related softwares so you can make to help you make a better decisions of picking the right software for your business. So let's get started. So I'm inside GoCharlie's dashboard. So inside, we're going to look at the image tricks. That's what they call it. And the first one we want to see is image in painting. And what that means is you can actually add an image and then you can actually tell GoCharlie to replace certain objects inside the image. So we're going to choose a stock photo. So we're going to select this image. It will be a coffee cup with a pen, physical notebook, and a pair of glasses. So let's say I don't want, I want to replace the coffee cup. I'll put in coffee cup, and I want to replace it with a tea instead of coffee. I'll put in tea in a green cup. Things I want to avoid. Any sort of blurry images. And I'll hit fetch. So once you hit fetch, it will give you two outputs. And I'm not going to pause the video. I'll let you guys see how long it will take to generate two sets of image variations. So these one pop up pretty quick. So let me save them. So I've got the original image right here, zoomed in. So I wanted to replace the coffee cup and I've made four different outputs. So as you can see, the aspect ratio did change. I believe this might be a four by three or 16 by nine, but this one's, it has stretched out a little bit wider and it has replaced the coffee cup with a green, with a different, uh, cup style and then this one has turned into a T. This is the second uh, variation. This is the third variation and I think this cup looks really nice but inside this part doesn't look too good, that green part. And the reflection here is not 100% correct but this is probably some sort of like new features that replacing an object relatively quick using AI. It is a pretty cool uh, feature, I would say. So let's take a look at the other features. Uh, this one's called image to prompt. So for those who are just starting out with the image generator, you need to be really specific inside the prompt that what you tell the AI to generate the image for you. So if you're stuck or you need like inspirations of how other people are creating all these beautiful images, then what you can do is like, for example, I've just gone to a Facebook search for like mid journey. So I'm not, I'm not doing anything crazy with other people's photo. I'm just, I just want to see what would go Charlie tell me the prompts for generating this image. So I can save this photo and then I'll go inside go Charlie and I can select this image. And I can hit fetch and GoCharlie is going to give me some of the suggested prompt that how they use to generate this prompt. So let's take a look. A yellow truck on a snowy road with mountain in background. A portrait inspired by uh, this person's name. A Shutterstock contest winner. Realism. Take destructive. Uh, ultra detail. I would say it's ultra detail and an attractive. So let's say this is the AI prompt and we can play around with the same features. So going to inside image creation, I can make this image as widescreen, a 4K image, and I want this to be a photo. And I will put this as the prompt. 
I'll say I don't want blurry images and I can hit fetch. And let's see what kind of photos it can generate. So the result is here. So quite different from this one. I think the prompt kind of missed it. It's in like a, an evening time. So this one only shows it's like in daytime. And it is yellow truck. It, it, so definitely it won't be exactly the same, but this one looks much more in detail, much more realistic than what GoCharlie has generated. So these are like more simple images, but these background does look pretty nice. So I'm going to, I'm going to save these images and see how they really look. So if you're stuck or you want to get inspired by other people's images and what kind of prompt they might be using, then the image to prompt could be useful here. All right, we'll try out the image variation feature on GoCharlie. So let's say the coffee cup image, I just want to let AI to change itself and give me some ideas. So here you can choose the aspect ratio, whether you want a square image, vertical image, widescreen. So I'll choose widescreen and I want it to be a 4K image. I want a higher resolution. So selecting my image, the original coffee cup. So if you have anything you want to afford, you can key it in. I'll just use it as default and I'll hit fetch. Again, two samples. Let's see how long it'll take to generate two images. So as you can see, you can start finding like weird stuff coffee cup with two handles and this one has like two hands doesn't look really good so let's tell go try to avoid to perfect hands or I'll just leave it as it is and I'll fit fetch again And I guess it'll be good to rate it, to give it a like or dislike. So it helps the AI, it can train the AI what images we like. We'll do that next time. And let's see how the second, second ring goes and see, are we getting better images or not? All right, we have the first image. That took around three minutes. As I paused the video, it took too long. So let's see how long it will take to generate the second image. But by looking at the variation notebook with a coffee cup, this one has a coffee cup on the left. It's been cropped out. And then it's just the physical notebook. There's no pen and glass. So this is not what I want. So I'll hit this like. And let's see how much longer we'll need to wait. So I'll just pause the video. So I've been waiting for more than five minutes, not getting the, the second image. So what I'm going to do is I'll just hit fetch again and see if it'll speed it up. I'm not sure whether it's the back end is too busy. So let's see. So this time, this one came back really quick, but again, the quality is kind of off. The notebook has been sort of destroyed with this separate hand, with this coffee cup, and this coffee cup has no handle. This doesn't even look like a cup. The Yeah, it, the image doesn't look good. So I think this will just be like a really... experimental feature for now. 
you are using GoCharlie primarily for the content generation instead of just all these AI AI image generator because if you solely just want like really good images from elsewhere then you can go with like using Midjourney or some of the other tools out there so it's it's good that they've got this feature but yeah don't don't expect this is going to be like a, a, a you'll get a home run this will be like a, a winner for all these AI copywriting tools so this wraps up my video review for GoCharlie's image creation part. And if you want to see some of my other GoCharlie reviews, I'll leave it in the description or somewhere in the screen. So I do hope you enjoy this content. If you think this was useful, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any specific things you want me to review, uh, please leave a comment down below or reach out to me. And I'll see you in the next one.